Ladies and gentlemen and children of the planet Earth, although this particular video is part and parcel of the never-ending series of the Dildo Burger Prophecies by Michael Fazio, brought to you from Hoodwink by an Angel, it is also a prerequisite of the book I wrote called Angels on the Ark by Michael Fazio, which is a revolutionary concept in regards to the origin of the Bible and the origin of the 3,300 pictographs that appear on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill. Now my book has not been the success I was hoping it was going to be, but there is a reason for that ladies and gentlemen. If the theories that which I have postulated in the book are correct, and in fact they are, it proves beyond doubt that the Catholic Church has manipulated the peoples of this world since at least the Council of Nice in 325 AD. However, it also proves beyond doubt that there has been a remnant society either alien in nature or pre-existing on this world from perhaps millions of years ago that originated from and in the same mannerisms that Darwin had proposed from single cell life forms to a complex structure. There is no way of knowing what or who or whom is behind the writing of the Bible, the creation of the 3,300 pictographs on the one dollar bill, and in addition to that, who created the Ark of the Covenant and designed the Great Pyramid? Because my postulations and my book propose that in fact the same entity or remnant society or in fact godlike beings created all of the above and in the case of the Bible and the pictographs that appear on the one dollar bill including King Solomon's temple and the design and structure of King Solomon's temple and including the measurements for the Ark of the Covenant I propose that King Solomon's temple the Ark of the Covenant the Bible and the 3,300 pictographs that appear on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill were all created by the same entity predating 7,000 years ago and that is the concept of the book called Angels on the Ark. Now to prove this to you, I'm going to zoom in here for a moment and what you're going to see at the bottom of the screen are what appear to be two faces facing in the opposite direction. One faces one way and the other faces the other way. These are what I propose are known as the angels on the Ark of the Covenant that which in fact are also represented on the extreme ends of the one dollar bill and in fact I'm going to give you a close-up of that so that you can see this for yourself on either end of the one dollar bill are these faces that appear at the bottom of the screen those faces I propose are the angels on the Ark of the Covenant known as the Seraphim that which the Lord God said let there in Exodus 25 19 let there be an angel on one end of the Ark of the Covenant aka this angel that you see in this very picture facing in two directions both left and right let there be an angel on one end of the Ark of the Covenant 
and then let there be an angel on the other end of the Ark of the Covenant with eyes before and behind. Now we know that the angels appear to be bullocks or calf-like in nature. And if you hold the bill at an angle such as this in your hands, as I have shown you previously, and I have created this particular bill for that very purpose, if you hold the bill on an angle such as this and it is folded properly you can see what appears to be a bullock or a calf in nature and we all know that the angels on the Ark of the Covenant that was given to Moses through the Lord God or what we perceive to be a godlike being and may or may not have been alien in nature or a pre-existing race of peoples that have lived on this world for hundreds of thousands of years. However, either way, if my propositions and postulations are correct, and this entity or godlike being has in fact created the 3,300 pictographs that which appear on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill including what you see at the top of your screen known as what, what appears to be a hog-nosed bat in this general area up here. This is the nose of the hog-nosed bat. This is one eye. This is the other. And if you take a picture in the Encyclopedia Britannica or any other encyclopedia, you will see that this represents a hog-nosed bat. If you take this picture and you turn it upside down, you have what appears to be, at that point, a representation of a horned owl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is hard for you to understand, but this is the premise at which I base my postulations that whatever created this pictograph and or series of glyphs and or pictographs or pictographic in nature, whatever created these forms of pictures that appear on the obverse and reverse of the one dollar bill was certainly not a man with a 12th grade education. Considering the fact that this represents, by folding the bill in another way, a vampire squid moving through the water in this direction, and this is the bow waves of the vampire squid in the exact formula that bow waves would be breaking from this angle of attack through the water, and in the back here, you have what appears to be a propulsion in the back, propulsion in the back. However, once again, I have said that these pictographs are part and parcel of an ancient or remnant society, and when we turn the bill clockwise one more time, we see what appear to be Egyptian glyphs or faces facing this way and facing that way. This would, this would be one eye and this would be the mouth. And at the top of the forehead on either side is what is known as the vulture's headdress. And coming from the chin of this Egyptian type face is what is known as the fox beard. F-A-U-X beard. Now these things were not put there by accident and they certainly aren't an accident of folding the bills. I have perpetually said that these glyphs and or pictographs have been placed on the bill by an entity that which is to prove its own existence to the remnant society that is born in our time 
and possibly even for visitors from other worlds that come to our planet to prove its dominance over our world. Now this particular face, when you look at this face to the right of the white piece of paper, it again appears to be either Egyptian in nature or it could be Mayan in nature because depending on which part of the bill or obverse or reverse of the one dollar bill that you are viewing you will see pictures of Mayan gods and you will see pictures of Egyptian gods you will see pictures of vampire squids which this is a picture of a vampire squid moving through the ether or water this if you notice in the back of the vampire squid it's not pointed as it is in the front it appears to be a stream of water coming out of the back of the vampire squid because these pictographs were intentionally put there by a race of beings that are so far advanced we have trouble comprehending and at this point ladies and gentlemen it's time for me to get a bigger camera